I think the remit at the beginning of the season for Eric Ten Hag from the club, and I'm sure from himself, he'd have put pressure on himself to get into the Champions League, which was achieved. Um, and maybe if you can get your hands on an A trophy, which he achieved. Deep down, I think he'd have been very satisfied with the start of his, his tenure at May United. But there's always stuff to improve on. He's a perfectionist. He's been someone who's won before in his previous club. So there'd have been things that he wouldn't have been happy with that he'd want to change, which is understandable. But I would say if you look at the, the temperature around the club from the football pitch perspective, there's definitely been an uplift since he's been here. I think that's been well documented, the centre forward needing to be at the club because the, the number nine we had at the club last season didn't score a goal, their course. So I would say 100% a striker, Harry Kane would be my guy. Osimhen would be a great option as well, don't get me wrong, but I just, I just think that if you, if you look, if I'm Eric Ten Hag, I'm talking, if I'm Eric Ten Hag, I'd go for Kane because Harry Kane is immediate goals. There's no bedding in period or mm, will he, won't he. He scores goals in the Premier League, knows the Premier League inside out. There's no acclimatisation issues. That's what Man United need right now. That's what Eric Ten Hag needs. Eric Ten Hag has a particular way of playing and he has to choose players that suit his style of football. Obviously, Harry Maguire doesn't really fit the bill compared to what he's brought in in Martinez and, and Rafael Varane is there as well. Those two are his number one choice. And Harry Maguire's had to do, deal with that throughout the season. I think it would have been really difficult for him to deal with that, being England player, fantastically, playing fantastically well for England, coming back as a captain of May United and then all of a sudden being out as a substitute. That could, must have been me mentally very hard to deal with. I think the starters are Martinez and Varane. They're the starters because that's what we've seen when they're fit, they play together. So he's gonna, if he's going to stay at May United, he will be a sub. That's the big question you've got to ask yourself for him. It doesn't bother me if he stays or goes because he, he's, he's someone, if, you, if there's an injury to one of those guys, even then I don't know if he plays. There's a Lindelof that plays before him, I'm not sure. So it's all about Harry Maguire. If he wants to stay and be a squad player, I think he'll, he'll do that. But if he wants to go and play games and, and, and do things as an individual and, and think about himself over anything else, then he'll, he'll look for a new, a, new, uh, a new job somewhere else. I think Man United have to look to improve again on this on this season. I think uh, you asked me for five things they need to improve. I think consistency is going to be key, and maintaining confidence throughout the season. There's going to be blips, but you've got to be able to. Then blips can't last long if you're going to be challenging. They've got to push the the, the, the champions closer. They've got to push them harder, and, and they've got to be closer. And I think a trophy again this season will be good, and that's a must. Um, whatever trophy that is, I don't know. Um, but you'd like to see them to improve from the, uh, the one that they got last season. So an FA Cup, maybe. A European Champions League, maybe.